عليكم سيدي وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله It was mentioned in one of your sobas that Allah Azza wa Jal sends Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim to you when you do istighfar. Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam being Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, would you please expand on this? Yeah, too difficult. <laughs> Not related, yeah. <clears throat> Alhamdulillah every time we say Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Allah Azza wa Jal grants to us Ameen. Because it's uh, asking in Allah's name, most compassionate and most merciful. So we say we make astighfar, astaghfirullah ladeem, Allah want to dress us with rahmah and mercy and that's Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. But then who carries Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem? So it means this light we call Muhammad Because Allah going to send you what? If Allah send you an angel, don't they exist within Muhammadun Rasulullah Everything is from the light of Prophet So anything that Allah brings into existence is going to be under the light of Muhammadun Rasulullah Otherwise there would be three. If Allah sends you an angel to dress you and bless you with rahmah, that light is called Muhammadun Rasulullah Sayyidina Jibreel is from the light of Muhammadun Rasulullah If Allah send you light from the throne, light from water of the kawthar, light from anything in, in the heavens. Its reality is Muhammadun Rasulullah So when we say things, maybe they say it quickly in a way to see who out there going to get angry or who's going to get confused and who's going to make sort of bizarre comments to filter. But if they're patient they can go back to all the teaching and understand, oh this is their coded way to speak. Everything is existing, this hadith al jabbar and what was the first thing that Allah created? He said, the light of your Prophet Before there was a throne, before there was a heavens, before there were angels, before there was… Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Anything in existence only at that time was what? La ilaha illallah. There was nothing else, there is no third. When Allah is a hidden treasure wanting to be known, Allah will be known only through the best of what Allah created which is why He describes Khuluqul Azeem, you are the best of character because Allah is going to be known through the best. When Allah wants to be known creation comes into existence, the light of all creation, Nurul Anwar wa Siratul Asrar. The light of every secret and the secret of every light called Muhammadun Rasulullah Everything is within that meme. The ocean of Muhit, all-encompassing ocean. So it means
means everything is in that. And that's when Allah says, سَخَى لَكُمْ مَا فِي السَّمَوَاتِ وَمَا فِي الْأَرْضِ جَمِيعًا Have we not given everything to you above in the heavens and whatever is in the world of form and jami' and anything in between them? All has been given to you to Sayyidina Muhammad so alhamdulillah when that is deeply understood then we have a greater understanding. Imagine all the angels are Muhammadun Rasulullah's light. So it means they're all under the command of where they come from. Because he's called him the Khalifa. If Allah doesn't have a trust in Prophet then Allah will be running everything. But when Allah create everything from the light of Muhammadun Rasulullah and describe that this is my Khalifa, means my trust on this reality. As a result this reality is in charge of everything. So means who's in charge of the angels? from the light of Muhammadun Rasulullah which are all of them is Prophet So then these are the realities of these haqqaiqs and that's why we said the Muhammadan haqqaiq is the most high, anything else is of a lesser nature. Any nation's haqqaiqs is not even comparison to the Muhammadan haqqaiq which owns anything of their realities. Anything of a truth in the Torah is owned by Muhammadan Rasulullah Anything of a truth in Injil is owned by Sayyidina Muhammad So when they saw the video, oh the ring of power comes from Prophet the people are like, what are you talking about? How is Imam Ali involved in all of this? What's this? I say, yeah, instead of Instead of losing your mind, realize you came to a place in which you have no understanding like a portal from paradise. Stay quiet, sit down and start to try to enter into that portal. How are you going to use your little brain on something that is immense within the heart and a reality within the heart? So imagine you come one day you're walking on a path and you see an immense light and a portal. You don't lose your head over that, oh, this run and go, go call somebody that what's this? You have to have faith, if it looks like something that's correct for you, have faith and enter. It's not something that you're supposed to understand, none of these realities you're going to understand with your brain. These are only the realities that, that can be encompassed by the heart and that heart has to have immense love. Imagine the, the size of the head in comparison to all of eternity, it's not even visible. So how could the head have a capacity to understand haqqaiqs? It can't. But those who are trained in the world of light understand that the, the world of light has no time. This is the secret of light. So if Prophet has always been Muhammadun Rasulullah then what, what, ha what about the world of form? That when Sayyidina Sulaiman enters in the world of form and is a Prophet, his prophecy is under, under the feet of Sayyidina Muhammad Its power is from Sayyidina Muhammad Its authority is from Sayyidina Muhammad because the world of light is supreme and Allah gift throughout Holy Qur'an, have I not given you everything? So means these are immense reality. So of course then any ring that comes to any Prophet has to come from the only Prophet of Allah Muhammadun Rasulullah And that's the blessings of the Holy Sunnah. And then you have to study long enough to understand, oh Imam Ali salam is related to the hand of power. So alhamdulillah it requires patience, patience.
It's like uh, so many things are now happening that we describe, portals will be opening, things will be seen, Un unseen things will be seen. People will think ajeeb and yell and scream and, and go through all sorts of difficulties. It's not what people think, the realities require a heart not a head and what's coming onto this earth requires uh, even more than a heart but a firmness in your heart because the head will be completely sort of confounded and confused with what this dunya will open for it, inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Sayyidi, the other day you stressed the importance of good character. Is the reality of our online behavior the same as in person? How would I know? Means everyone has to govern themselves, I'm not here to judge people. But your online character has to match your physical character. That's why if you're coming to realities and you, you're dealing with the shaykh, imagine having a, a YouTube name uh, Scooby Doo and then keep talking to the shaykh, pray for me, pray for me, pray for me. What do you think Allah thinks of you with that type of name sitting and dealing with the shaykh? That you're not serious and if I was you I would make a more serious name Ishq of Muhammad, love of Muhammad, Muhammadiyoon, Ahlul Sunnah, something beautific and use that as your YouTube to log on to these zikrs and to communicate and ask for du'a. So anything people are doing on the internet they think they do it incognito. They said that when people wear a mask they're more likely to commit evil acts. Why? Because they feel nobody can see them. Maybe they'll go beat people up, maybe they'll go do horrific things, nobody can see them so they hide behind a veil. Remember the discussion we talked about or the, the example we gave? When Sayyidina Abdul Qadir Jailani gave a chicken to all his students, said, go slaughter this chicken somewhere that Allah doesn't see and then Everybody guessed in their mind, oh I know the answer to this, I know the answer to this. All of them went somewhere, slaughtered the chicken. One student came back and here's the chicken. He said, why you didn't slaughter? He said, how could I find a place where Allah doesn't see, Allah sees everything. Oh bravo, bravo you're the good student. Now go back into our own lives and see how many of you are the other students, not that one. For if you're truly that one who thought Allah sees everything you'd be walking on water now. But everyone seems to think Allah doesn't see them. So it's not the cleverness that we figured it out on, on this tale from Sayyidina Abdul Qadir Jailani siru. But how do we put it into our own life? How can we act like we just slaughtered a chicken and Allah didn't see it? Nobody acts like Allah sees everything. And my faith is in Allah sees everything and everything I'm doing Allah sees everything. <clears throat> and that was the reminder, that was the example that why they gave that example is go back to everything that we do and think to ourselves, do you think Allah is seeing that? Yeah He sees everything and every action, every, every reaction we have Allah sees everything. But you're acting like you slaughtered a chicken and Allah didn't see it. So it means the majority 99.999% of people slaughter a chicken thinking Allah doesn't see their actions. But those less than 1%, less than 0001% then those are the ones who are on a path towards sainthood in which they realize Allah sees everything, they're crying every night for forgiveness because they know Allah sees and saw and is witness to everything. Once you acknowledge Allah as a witness to everything then you spend your day and night in repentance in istighfar, astaghfirullah al Because many people think, oh, why do we have to make so much istighfar? Because they forgot that Allah sees them in everything. So internet is the most foolish, it's like a mask, it's called meta mask for a reason. 
People think that they're masked, their identity is masked. They can send money here, Allah won't know. They can do this, Allah won't know but Allah knows everything. The shaitan just playing with us all. And that's why the large amount of istighfar because they realize, no Allah sees everything. We, when we're true to that we know and we keep making istighfar that Allah forgive us. Because when you know that Allah sees everything then ask for forgiveness. And Allah grant Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem which is then the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad What Allah can grant you when you ask istighfar? He grants you the best of what He has. And the best of what He has and what is a mercy from His Divine the Presence is the light of Muhammad and Rasulullah And from that Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem is made up of Muhammad, Ali, Fatima, Hassan and Hussain. And this is the, the panj, what we call the five fingers, the, the fiveness of this reality. This is the, is the best of what Allah has to offer. That if that light begin to come to you every time you make istighfar and they begin to make forgiveness for you, they begin to pray to Allah for your forgiveness. Because that is the, the reality of Prophet when the light of Prophet moves towards you, uh, the first to come is Imam Ali Salaam, Sayyidatina Fatima Tizari Salaam, Imam Al Hasan Salaam, Imam Al Hussein Salaam. Why? Because the love of their grandfather, the love of that reality, the love of the nation. So when Allah wants to grant you Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, no doubt it comes with light of Muhammad and Rasulullah Light of Imam Ali Salaam, Light of Fatima Tuzari Salaam, Light of Imam Al Hassan Salaam, Light of Imam Al Hussein Salaam. Because they walk first and who are accompanying right behind them? The light of Imam and Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq, Sayyidina Umar Farooq, Sayyidina Uthman, Al Qani Jami, Al Quran. Because they're like the other hand, they have two hands because of the symmetry of our reality. One is Prophet and his family whom he brought to his khirqah, said, this is my family and he challenged any nation, said, you invoke what you want, I will invoke based on my family and brought them to his juppah means they're under the, the dome of his reality which was the secret of Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. When Prophet brought that reality. So that moves first and then the symmetry of the hand that follows because if Prophet is moving then Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq is moving, Sayyidina Umar Farooq is moving, Sayyidina Uthman Jami al Qur'an alayhim as salam, they're all moving. So it has immense blessing as soon as we ask the istighfar. So it's not that we don't sin. But to know that you are sinning at all times and as a result make lots of istighfar and Allah grant the best of what He has and the realities of Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. Subhana rabbi rabbil izzati amma yasifu wa salaamun al mursaleen walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Bi hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa bi siri Surat al Fatiha. As Salaamu Alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Narjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh.